Hey everyone, Sensor here, and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. So, now in this video we're going to be going over Child, uh, also known as Tartaglia, and he is actually really fun. Um, the, the stance dancing is, is pretty cool. Um, when I first played him in the trial, I wasn't really a big fan, but after, you know, I pulled him actually really early, so I was lucky. I wasn't actually going to keep going until I got him, but I was lucky enough to get him. Um, and once you actually use him, and you know get him geared up and stuff he's actually really nice um, but he de definitely takes some getting used to and he you know doesn't work as other uh, characters because you know he can switch between a ranged and melee stance so first let me go ahead and once I kill this enemy I'm gonna go ahead and go over his talents and stuff how he works um, and then you know showcase them some more so you can you know kinda see how his abilities work and then talk about uh, you know, possible weapons and artifacts to use. So first, the way Tartaglia works is, well, he uses a bow. That's like the actual weapon you're going to equip is a bow. He doesn't, like, there's no two weapons, there's no, like, dagger or anything. It's the, the weapon that you're actually going to equip is the bow. Now, the way his normal attack works is he shoots just like you know regular bow stuff but his charged attack is really special because a fully charged arrow will not only do hydro damage but it affects the enemy with riptide and riptide is a really nice effect so riptide will cause them to um, suffer aoe damage when they're attacked by tartaglia now the important thing about this is this this makes it so that you want to use tartaglia you know, above all else when you're attacking people with Riptide, but something to note is the Riptide effect will stay on the target even if he switches out. So Riptide lasts 10 seconds normally, and then with the never-ending passive, it lasts for another 8 seconds. Um, I think it's 8 seconds. Yeah, so 18 seconds total. But what will happen is, a f you know, fully charged aim shot will apply Riptide. If you do another fully charged aim shot on them when they have Riptide, then it'll do more AOE damage. And when you kill an enemy that has Riptide on them, then they burst and it'll spread Riptide and then also do damage. So you can see here that Riptide burst damage um, and then Riptide flash, which is the when you hit when you do a fully charged shot on somebody that already has Riptide on them. And yeah, it's uh it's pretty nice. Now his skill is the stance changing so the skill will make him pull out his daggers and he'll be doing you know melee uh, daggers but it's all hydro damage it, it doesn't just switch between like bow physical damage and dagger physical damage the daggers are hydro damage complete elemental damage during this so it's still you know elemental skill and what it does is it lasts up to 30 seconds, but depending on how long, and you can just push the button again, and it'll switch them back to both stance. So depending on how long you stay in this melee stance, the cooldown will be longer, from six seconds all the way up to 36 seconds. And if what happens is if you stay in the melee stance the full 30 seconds, then the cooldown will actually be 45 seconds when it's over. So when you don't have any uh, I'm not I'm not gonna really go over the constellations, but if you get a bunch of constellations, especially all of them, then you can pretty much stay in his melee stance for most of the time. But if you don't have any constellations, you're gonna have to be switching back and forth. So it's, it's important to keep that in mind because that's a 45 seconds is a long cooldown before you can use your daggers again. Um, but when you're hitting an enemy that's affected by Riptide with a melee attack, then it does Riptide slash. Uh, and that's considered elemental skill damage. And as you can see, Riptide Slash, the percentage here, based on the level that I'm at, 88%. Um, but yeah, basically his skill just pulls out the daggers, does hydro damage the entire time, and they're really, it's really fun. His, you know, if you don't like bows, his melee stance is really fun. But you're going to have to switch back and forth. And I actually think that's kind of cool. And I, I do like having bowmen because it's nice to have range, but... Let's go on to his ultimate. His ultimate also changes depending on which stance he's in. So in range stance, it'll apply Riptide and it just does a big, you know, AOE hydro damage. But also, if you do it 
from his uh, range stance, it'll re refund, refund a portion of the energy. So it costs 60, and then you'll get 20 back if you use the, the ranged. And you can see here the difference between damages. So the ranged one is, you know, quite a bit lower than the melee uh, when it comes to damage. And then also the melee, so the melee does a big strike. And it's still an AoE, so it's a big AoE slash, and then everybody that's hit by it takes Hydro damage. So more Hydro damage than the ranged. But not only that, if you do this on enemies that already have Riptide on them, then it'll clear the Riptide and then cause an explosion and do even more damage, which is also Elemental Burst damage. So you can see the extra Riptide Blast damage. So it's definitely much stronger if you use, uh, use it in melee stance. Uh, and if you use uh, if you use it when they have Riptide on them, so and then real quick the I already went over that the eight second duration, and the last talent that is unlocked the passive talent is unlocked makes it so that now this one is a little it might be worded differently uh, or something uh, I don't think it's working the way it's supposed to so the way it says is when Tartaglia is in foul legacy. Raging Tide melee stance, which is, you know, it's just his melee stance, or if his normal and charge attacks do crit damage, they apply Riptide status effect on the, on the hit enemy. So it's either not working as intended or something's wrong because when I do normal and charge attacks, even when they crit and I definitely see them crit, it does not put Riptide on them. Not only that, his melee stance attacks don't put Riptide on them unless they crit. So I think it might not be working correctly because right now the way it works is it only affects, you only can apply Riptide from a fully charged shot and when you crit with a melee attack. So I don't think this is working quite the way it should. They either need to reword it or, you know, it's it's not working. So if that starts working the way it's uh, listed, the way it's worded, then it's going to be even better. And then w another really cool thing is his actual, you know, out of combat passive is increase all party members normal attack level by one so all those skills yeah it's gonna be an extra one that's pretty cool so uh i am going to i'm I actually i'm going to go ahead and go over the weapons and artifacts and then i'll finish with showing him fight the fire uh fire world boss so i'm using russ and i think russ is definitely one of the best i unfortunately have one ref refinement it's 40 percent i think at max refinement it's 80 percent so you know increases normal attack damage by that much which is great because most of tartaglia's damage is going to come from normal attacks even now what i don't know though is if his you know melee stance counts as normal attacks uh, i think it did say that yeah uh okay yeah it doesn't say yeah i think that was the i think that was yeah that's the riptide damage counts as no, normal attack damage so it doesn't actually I, I i don't know if his if his melee attacks count that it's not but this is still really strong because you're going to be using the bow attacks a lot so rust is really good um stringless can be useful because it'll increase the you know melee uh, stance damage because it's hydro damage and the burst damage but I, f I think stringless is only going to be better than rust if one you just have a higher refined one I mean this is 30% damage I, at this refinement even at max level I don't think it's gonna be better because it gives elemental mastery as well instead of the attack percentage but if you have like six constellations where you're gonna be in melee stance a lot basically if you're gonna be able to be in your melee stance more, most of the time, then Stringless is going to be better. But if you're going to be using your bow attacks more often than not, Rust is going to be better. And those are the only ones that I can really say. Obviously, if you have a five star weapon, then that's probably going to be better. But now for the artifacts, I'm not, I'm not sure yet exactly what artifacts. I will say which ones can be useful. Obviously, the crit rate can be useful. Um, like I did with my Beto video. Two, a two-piece for Berserker and then a two-piece for Gladiator can be useful. I don't have that right now. 
I do have I do have two piece for crit rate. It's gonna take some time to really figure out the best stuff because there's no there's no hydro damage bonus. You know, like they have a pyro set, they have an electro set, they have a, a Nemo set, they even have a Geo set. Um, I think they have everything except water, if I remember correctly. But anyway, there's no hydro damage bonus set, so that's what I would go with if they had it. And physical damage bonus could work the bloodstain set, but you know, it's only going to work with his bow attacks. So, Elemental Mastery is not bad. Basically, it's if you can go into your melee stance a lot, uh, Wanderer's Troop will be good. If you're going to be using your bow attacks a lot, then I feel like Gladiator set for right now, Gladiator set and Berserker set is going to be some of the best ones you can use. But now I'll go ahead and show how these things work. I was kind of showing a little bit of that at first. Let me go ahead and switch first to heal. Um, I'm going to show you, you know, the differences between switching stances and then, you know, showing his ultimate and, and all that. Uh, but yeah, Tartaglia is just really fun. I I wasn't sold on him from the trial. So if you played the trial and you're not and you're not really sure about him, he definitely gets better. Okay, now I'm going to switch stances here. So you can see the damage that I'm doing here. Not bad, but now I'm going to go ahead and switch to melee stance so I can just destroy this flower here. There you go. And look how much damage that is. So as you can see, my cooldown is a little bit lower. And it's got the Riptide. That's what that symbol is, that Riptide effect. So now I'm going to switch back and use my... So I couldn't... Unfortunately, I couldn't see the damage there because the problem, the only the only issue I have with this game is the auto aim that they have. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this, and it's really nice because I can just like look at that <laughs> one one strike just destroys it, and you just go in. The bow attacks are you know pretty strong, and you just keep it up, keep up the riptide, and then boom, it's uh, his melee attacks just are so strong. And then, you know, you, you, you have to keep switching back and forth. So that's that's basically Tartaglia for you. You do his, you know, melee stance. Try not to stay in too long. So you don't, you know, use up the cooldown. And it's, you know, the way he's, the way he's originally, you know, the default way he's meant to be played is switching back and forth between melee stance and range stance. Because of the long cooldown that he has, you know, and the way his attacks work, you're meant to use both. So, I mean, I'm in range stance right now. I'm gonna try and get the stuff on there, and then boom, switch to melee stance. It's a, uh, I mean, his melee stance is almost like you know burst damage basically. Now you can actually see the damage, so. And yeah, not not bad. Now the problem is I don't again I don't have uh, the, I don't have the best stats. Like my crit is pretty low. My attack is high, but my you know my crit is low. And that's all for my look at Tartaglia, also known as Child. If you liked the video, please give a like, subscribe for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.